everyone and welcome to another a thousand ways tutorial in this video I'll be showing you guys how to create a curtain effect here in Photoshop using filters in the previous video I've shown you a much easier way of creating a curtain effect using gradients feel free to check that video out the link is in the description below now I'm going to start off by creating a new document pressing command N on my keyboard and for PC users control N and you see the settings I have applied here already feel free to change these settings to your liking but I strongly suggest that your resolution be set to 72 and your color mode to RGB the reason why that is is when you apply your color to your curtain your shadows tend to look a monkey gray color when you have your color mode set to CMYK you don't want that so I suggest you stick to RGB create your effect save it as an image bring it back into Photoshop and just bump up the resolution that way may sound like a lot but it's very easy to do now I'm happy with my settings so I'll click OK once that's done I want to apply a 50% gray to our background so I'll simply go up to edit fill and apply my 50% gray now if you do not see this on your screen just simply click the drop down menu and apply it I'm going to press OK and now I want to start creating my folds for my curtain to do so I'll go up to filter render fibers now as you can see here it doesn't look like a curtain effect at all but that's fine this is just the first step now I'm going to click this minimize button here with the negative sign in order to see my document in full view now you can really get a glimpse of what this effect will look like now if you don't like what you see here simply change your settings manually by inputting a value within these boxes or you can simply play around with the sliders here me I'm happy with what I see if you don't really know what you want then simply click the randomize button and just choose whatever you think fits I think that's pretty good so I'll click OK now you see here it looks kinda like wood or some type of waterfall we don't really want this we want to smooth this effect out so I'll go up to filter blur motion blur as you can see it's already smooth and we have what looks to be curtain folds they're just a bit tight now apply your angle to 90 or negative 90 either way is fine we just want our streaks to go from top to bottom rather than left to right and apply your distance to whatever you like don't go too far down or too far up now 251 is pretty good for me so I'll click OK now we want to separate these streaks a bit they just look a little too tight to do so I'll go up to filter blur Gaussian blur and now you already get a glimpse of a curtain here now I'm happy with 3.5 but if you're not you can simply change it to whatever you like now I'm going to press OK and there we have a nice curtain look so now we just want to apply our color to do so we'll go to image adjustments hue and saturation or you can press command U or control U now first off we're going to select our colorize box here because remember we filled our document with 50 percent gray so we don't want a grayish looking color so colorize must be selected now we're going to bring our saturation up pretty high now it's up to you how high you want it I say 80 is pretty good for me and I'm going to bring down my lightness I think 50 is pretty good so I'll click OK and as you can see we have this nice curtain effect which looks very realistic but let's just say we want to add more drama to it so we'll simply go to image adjustments 
levels or command L or control L. Now here we can simply bump up our shadows if they're not too dark already. Adjust our midtones and adjust our highlights. Now I think that looks pretty good and I'm going to click OK. So now it looks as if light is actually shining on our curtain here. I appreciate all the support and hope to see you in the next A Thousand Ways tutorial.